Welcome Libras. I'm back y'all with another video. Yes, it has been quite a few weeks. It's been about three weeks since I've been, um, since I've uploaded. So I'm back guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Thanks everyone who's been reaching out to me. Yes, I am fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm back y'all. All right, so <clears throat> this is going to be a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you. However, if it happens to resonate with you, all uh, the better. Okay, make sure that you guys energetically leave some love here by clicking the like button as well as sharing with your family and your friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the bell so you won't miss out on the notification. All right, so we're getting a message in for my Libras, please, for in love. Let me know what's going on for the month of September for my Libras. What message do you have for Libras? What message do you have for Libra? I know I was a distraction from your pain. This has been coming out for a lot of readings. All right, so... I am becoming a better person. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm becoming a better person. Okay. Tell me more. All right. We got, you know, you don't know how hard it, it was to let you go. And I hate who I really am from you that jumped out as well. So at the bottom of the deck, we got, I regret lying to you. All right. So it looks like someone was very dishonest. Somebody didn't tell the truth. Somebody didn't. They wore a mask. Also, someone here was using someone as a distraction. And it looks like now, it looks like your person is trying to become a better person. Like, I'm getting that this person knew that the things that they were doing, the things that they were saying was way out of line, out of pocket. Um, and maybe they're trying to do the work on themselves to try to become a better person. I'm not sure if it's to become a better person to be with you or just to become a better person in general. Just to do some self, some self work. All right. So, is you? They are. They're also saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So somebody had to walk away. Somebody looks like this was recent, or this it could be coming up that somebody may be deciding to walk away. From the situation. Tell me more. I replay our conversations over and over. <coughs> I feel you even though we are apart. This person uh, also. Somebody somebody here um, definitely walked away from the situation. Because I got, I feel you. Were, I feel you leaving me behind. We need to let each other go. I know I crossed the line with you. So this person knows that they crossed the line with you. They're feeling like you guys need to let each other grow. Need to let each other go. Because I do feel like this person feels as if like they're trying to become a better person. So maybe they felt like this connection um, that they were in with you could have possibly brought out the worst in them. And I feel like that maybe they were feeling like you were leaving them behind. Give me one more card. I remember every detail of that day. I hope that you could forgive me one day. Yeah, see, something here definitely happened. They're replaying the details of it in their mind all the time. They also hid who they, who they really were from you. They lied about who they were. They lied about who they truly were. They lied to you. They wore a mask. Somebody here definitely wore a mask. All right, tell me more. Let's get some more details on your person. This situation from the past was definitely unrequited. It was a situation that... Someone could have been given more to the connection than the other. Tell me more about 
There's children could be involved. For some of you, this could be a husband, wife, a baby mother, baby father type of situation. But I'm seeing children being I'm seeing children being involved in this situation. <coughs> Make the effort. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we got Relisha X and healing family issues. So it looks like your person could be deciding or has decided to release the situation. Um, because someone, they feel like more effort needs to be put in on your behalf. Or maybe that they need to put in more effort. But somebody needs to put the effort in to heal this connection. Okay, so it looks like someone wasn't willing to put in the work. So there was a time to definitely like let the situation go. We got a wedding. Someone here could be married or someone wants to get married. Or someone has been together for a really, really, really long time. I see someone has a new love interest. Okay, so they could have a new love interest coming in for them um that they're getting to know they have someone new that they're getting to know but they want to come but they want to come back to you reconciliation so they have someone new that's entered their life that they're getting to know but they want to reconcile that's crazy that's crazy children could be definitely involved um, effort is needing to be put in for this connection to work. But I want to see, tell me more about wedding. Someone either wants to get married or wanted to get married. Yeah, engagement. So definitely there is like someone supposed to get married. Like this was supposed to lead to marriage. <coughs> but instead someone found somebody new. But somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to reconcile here. Definitely. I feel like they're flirting around with other people. Um, they're doing that because they're trying to keep their heart chakra open. They're trying to, you know, like date around or see other people. But I feel like they definitely want to reconcile with you. But I do feel like for some... They're, they have someone new. Either either some of them have someone new already or they're, op, they're open to new love coming in. They're open to it. Okay, so it looks like finances and career or work could have been an issue in the connection. I'm seeing that as well. Um, they wanted you to put more effort in financially. Possibly because they there are children could possibly be involved. Or somebody has a bond with someone's children. A connection with someone's children or child. But I'm getting like they're open to new love coming in. But they definitely won't, would be open to reconciling with you. They definitely wanted to reconcile with you. But they are definitely open to new, to new love coming in. So let's see what else we need to know about this person. What does Libra need to know about this person? We got a jumper. We got the two of swords. So this person is, we got the king of pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The ace of swords and the ace of cups came out as well. So the person that you're dealing with is very indecisive. Um, they're at a crossroad. We got the world here. I feel like your person wants for movement. They want to move forward with you, but I feel like they're still indecisive. They're not sure if they want to close this chapter or if they want to move forward with you. They just are uncertain. Um, they're giving something some thought. Some of you could be dealing with the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Sagittarius. They're giving this situation some thought like what do they want do they want to move forward with you or do they want to close this chapter keep this chapter closed with you why is the world here the page of wands 
Seven of Pentacles. So they're waiting to hear from you. They're waiting for a conversation to be had. They're watching you. They are spying on you. They are watching you. They're watching you. I feel like also they're waiting for you to uh, <laughs> waiting for you to reach out to them, possibly for sex as well. Um, this King of Pentacles here could be dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We got the Strength card. Could be a Leo involved. Um, tell me more. Nine of Swords. So this person could also be dealing with confidence issues. Um, it looks like as well finances could be a struggle or strain. They're, somebody could be also, they feel like, um, this person also feels like they got taken advantage of. And they also feel, this person is either really attention seeking, somebody is really attention seeking. Somebody does things for attention. Um, I'm getting a lot of juggling, though. A lot of back and forth going on. I do see this person wanting give and take, though. I do see this person wanting, wanting equal give and take. In the situation, but they feel taken advantage of. Um, I'm seeing that as well, and I'm seeing like someone is attention seeking, like somebody is real attention seeking. Somebody doesn't also doesn't um, doesn't want to open up and communicate and be honest about about the situation. Could be a Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius like yourself um, about their flaws and the parts that they play. Somebody also um, doesn't want to cut off other options. Somebody doesn't want to cut off other options because it's beneficial to them. There's a lot of secrets here as well, too. Yeah, Knight of Wands. There's a lot of playing, a lot of playful energy, a lot of childlike energy. Somebody who doesn't want to settle down. Um, I'm getting as well. They have started open, being open to new friends or possibly going out and hanging out more. Um, some they feel pretty burdened by the situation. Um, and I'm just getting like a lot a little playful energy, like. Could be an Aquarius involved. There could be third parties involved as well, too. Possibly with a Capricorn. Um, I'm getting competition as well, too. Someone arguing and fighting over um, a lover here. Like, I, I just feel like... Yeah, Three of Pentacles, like... I feel like there's like some love triangle thing going on here. We got the lovers and the queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Gemini's energy. But somebody feels as if, like somebody behaves very single. Somebody behaves like they're single, especially with the sun and the nine of pentacles. They're happy single. Like they're, they're happier single. Um, or they like to behave like they're single. I'm just getting that. And like I said, like I'm not getting someone who wants to settle down energy here. I'm getting somebody who's very playful, who's very in and out and very indecisive. That's the energy that I'm getting for this person. Let's get some advice really quick. Give me some advice for Libras, please. Recovery. That's been coming out for all of the signs. Let go. Okay, so Spirit is saying that, look, you need to recover from the situation. And the way that you're going to recover from the situation is letting this situation go. 
We got opportunity and we got yes. It's up to you. Listen to your intuition. Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition and abundance. Okay, an opportunity for some abundance is getting ready. It's headed your way for sure. An opportunity for abundance is headed your way. But Spirit is saying that there's something that you need to recover from. Yeah, Spirit is saying, look, there's something better. There's something better that's ahead. I do see an opportunity. An opportunity for abundance to come in. So something more, something greater, something bigger is a far ahead. Well, not far ahead, but it, which is ahead. But you got to let this situation go. You have to let this situation go. Because there's definitely something better. There's definitely something better. There's definitely something better. For sure. There's more information that you need to get in regards to this situation. There's more to the story. There's more information that's getting ready to come out. Or there's more to the story that you need to know. And I'm getting someone needs to communicate clearly. Perfect timing. See, I'm telling you, there's something better headed your way. And the timing for it couldn't be any better. But Spirit is saying you need to listen to your intuition when it comes to this situation. There's something about it that you need more information about this person. This person wears a mask. Okay, so... There's just more to the story, more than meets the eye. But moving far, moving ahead, there's an opportunity for something better. Whatever this opportunity is, it's going to bring in abundance and it's going to feel like perfect timing. Okay? So that's going to be the message that I have from my Libras. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to leave me a thumbs up as well as um, like and share with your family and your friends. If you're new, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right. Until next time, ciao for now.